Hello everyone, this is Nihatul Shan from Crescent Creation. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today's video is part of our Lawn Fawn Fan Spring Hop. And we also have a giveaway about which I'll talk later in this video. If you're new here, uh, I would just like to let you know that a uh, few of us crafters uh, joined together uh, four times a year to create some cute projects out of Lawn Fawn products. And I'm going to link all the previous hop videos for you in the description box below if you're interested. For my card today, I have created this very cute slimline shaker card, which is birthday theme. Using few old and new products from Lawn Fawn. So here I have already stamped all the images that I think I want for my scene. And I didn't end up using all of them, but I just wanted to make sure I have all the options when I'm putting my scene together. And all the products that I've used are listed in the description box below. So if you are interested, you can take a look. And for a change today, I decided to use my Prismacolor pencils. So I stamped all my images on Canson Excel mixed media cardstock. While coloring with color pencils, you want a cardstock which has a little bit of tooth or texture to it. There are a lot of cardstocks out there that works with color pencils very beautifully. I just like to use Canson Excel mixed media cardstock. And one of the reason is because you can use it with various other mediums, not just color pencils. I have quite a lot of images to go through. So I'm not going to show you the coloring of all the images, but one of each kind. And also um, all the colors are listed in my blog post, which is also linked in the description box below. So just in case you're interested in what colors I used, you can refer to my blog post. I had so much fun using my Prisma colors uh, after so long. I mean, uh, I like Copics. I always reach for Copics. There are two reasons for it. First of all, Copic markers are faster to use. At least I feel that. And secondly, I don't have to always uh, think about uh, bringing out a different cardstock because I use my uh, Nina Solar White or Accent Opaque cardstocks for card bases and all. So I use the same card, uh, card stock for uh, stamping the images. So most of the time I forget to bring out the special cardstock for my color pencils. So today I made sure I remember to take out my special cardstock to use with my color pencils. Now let's talk about the giveaway and as always we have a sponsor for our hop. Lawn Fawn is sponsoring a $1.25 shopping spree to their store. Isn't that exciting? Yay right? So one lucky winner will be chosen on March 26th from the comments on each of the video in the hop. All you have to do to be considered for the giveaway is comment on each video. You can also consider subscribing to each of our channels and do not forget to hit, hit that like button if you like all our videos. It helps a lot, you know, when you guys do these few simple steps for us. It makes our day and we cannot appreciate it enough. So um, I still have a little bit of coloring to show to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some music for you and then meet you once I'm done coloring. <laughs>
almost done showing you coloring of all my images so because I'm using color pencils today, uh, the color pencils kind of sits on top of the black outlines and uh, the facial features kind of gets lost. So I'm using my black gel pen here and uh, just going over the mouth and the eyes and that just helps to bring back the image. Now that I'm done coloring, I'm using my dies uh, to go ahead and die cut all these images. I'm using my post-it tape to hold my dies in place and I'm going to go ahead and pass it through my die cutting machine. Once I'm done cutting all these um, images, I'm also going to go ahead and cut few extra uh, jar frames from white cardstock for my shaker. And here I'm gluing together all those white die cuts using some liquid glue. I glued together five of the white die cuts here. Next, I'm gluing an acetate sheet that I also cut out uh, from the jar die. I'm just making sure everything is nicely stuck here. And next, I'm going to go ahead and glue the very top layer, which is the stamped and colored die cut. Before I put my shaker materials in, I'm just using my anti-static powder tool here to make sure I don't have any static and everything shakes well. And here I'm preparing my shaker materials. For my shakers today, I chose to use the stamped and colored strawberry images was just adding some white and black gel pen details to all these images and once I'm done I threw in all my strawberry images and closed the shaker well and everything shakes well now let's work on the background the white piece is die cut out of the largest die from the small slimline with lift the flaps die set out some grassy hills out of green cardstock using the grassy hillside die and to add some interest to these pieces, I'm adding some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink just to the top edges of these borders. And once I'm done inking all these pieces, whatever ink is left on my glass medium mat, I just added a little bit of water to it and using a fan brush, I'm splattering all these pieces. Now it's time to glue these pieces to my white die cut. I'm starting with my first piece here. And as soon as I uh, put it on the white piece, I remember I need to ink my sky. Good that I remembered immediately and the liquid glue was still wet. So I was able to remove the piece. And here I'm just using a little bit of tumbled glass, trust trust oxide ink and inking the top part of my white die cut. Once happy with the inking, I'm going to go ahead and start putting my background together. I glued the first and the second grassy hills directly to the background using some liquid glue. And since these are cut out of one cardstock, they fit nicely like a puzzle. Off camera, I went ahead and laid my scene and now I'm starting to glue all the pieces. I always like to lay my images first before gluing so that I know where my scene is going before I commit to them. So here I'm going to go ahead and put some music for you so that you can enjoy the whole assembly of the card. Gluing this mouse using some liquid glue directly to my background but later you'll see that I changed my mind and I'm gonna remove it and add some double sided tape behind it. So here you can see I changed my mind. I added some double sided tape behind this mouse and glued him in place. For this basket I am just using my scissors and trimming off this excess white that's between the both the handles so that I can place my food and they show better.
I just love the addition of ants to this scene. I think they are so stinking cute. Love that they are carrying these tiny strawberries on their back and taking them home. So here my scene is all done and I'm gonna go ahead and use my scissors to trim off the excess that's hanging off the background. And here I realized that I made a mistake. My mouse with the strawberries in his hand almost didn't show because I cut too much of it. So I removed it and added a different mouse which I had already colored and I made the mouse hold a strawberry. And this time I let it hang off the background. I didn't cut off that excess. Now I'm working on the sentiment. Sorry, I'm a little off camera here. I'm just heat embossing uh, the sentiment have a very happy birthday on black cardstock. I prepped the surface using anti-static powder tool and I'm stamping the sentiment using some clear ink. And here I'm pouring some white embossing powder on top of it and then I'm gonna go ahead and heat set it using my heat tool. Trimming the sentiment using my gelatin trimmer. This sentiment is from the How You Bean Strawberries add-on stamp set. Once I have my sentiment ready, I'm going to go ahead and trim it off using my scissors. Now I'm going ahead and gluing my sentiment. So my sentiment reads, have a very, very happy birthday. And the second berry from the sentiment is um, die cut out of red glitter cardstock using Henry's ABC's die. So here I'm gluing each of the letter die cuts using some liquid glue directly to my background. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue the second part of the sentiment that's happy birthday just below the berry. Here I'm almost done with my card. I'm gluing this card front to a green piece of cardstock that's slightly bigger than my card front. So I have this nice uh, green border showing all around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this to a white card base that measures three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. I'm also adding few images to the inside of the card just to give it a more finished look. Now adding some finishing touches using my white gel pen and black gel pen to all of the images on the card. And that finishes my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The link to next person in the hop is in the description box below. So don't forget to hop along for a chance to win the giveaway. Thank you for visiting. Have a nice day.